My Hero Academia fans, we are back with a brand new My Hero movie, and that is My Hero Academia, You Are Next. Now, of course, is Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki, and the rest of the UA High Class 1A must face off now against a brand new villain, Dark Might, and the obscure crime organization under his control, the Golini family. Now, for people who don't know, I, I don't talk a lot of anime on this channel because it's kind of like my comfort. I can put it on, I can enjoy it, I don't have to stress about making content surrounding it because there's a whole vast market about that and I can just go enjoy other YouTube channels that also like anime and that's kind of like one of my things. But when it comes out of the movies and I get the chance to check them out either early or of course go into the theaters and check them out, I'm gonna make time and I'm happy that I got the chance to check out My Hero Academia, Your Next early because there's a lot of stuff coming up and this was one of those movies that I definitely did not want to miss specifically covering for you guys because this is like my time to geek out and have fun with anime and your next is awesome I mean that that's about it you are next is awesome when it comes out of these My Hero Academia movies, I think they're fun fan fiction for My Hero fans. Obviously, these are not canon nor do they change the world and realm of what you see inside the show. But I always find it fun to kind of go through and rewatch them and see where Deku and the gang were at one point in time in their life since some of these take place in between certain seasons. And this one is obviously them at their might after season six. And it is really awesome to see how far the class has come. And I think that's actually one of the greatest parts about this is no matter what you felt about season six or how you're feeling about season seven right now, the greatest aspect is getting to see so many characters that so many people have really come to love, and even some of the minor ones get moments to shine. But in the end of the day, this is a Deku-centric story, and when it comes down to these movies, they always pair him with a brand new character that, or maybe just someone that they haven't paired with before. They've paired him with Bakugo with a movie, which I think is actually one of the few movies that should have remained canon. I think that was such an important film for their relationship, but... I'm not here to talk about canon or non-canon stuff, but we've also seen him paired up with All Might. Uh, Rowan, I think in the last film he was paired up with, and in this one, he's paired up with a character named Jelani, Jul Julani, I could be mispronouncing that, I apologize, who's this badass, wielding, kind of looking hitman dude with like a robotic arm that, that it might be one of my favorite team-ups that we've seen Deku get to team up with thus far i think he is such a badass and specifically how they use him in this is one of my favorite things basically that my hero has done in one of the films and i think for me like his introduction just is instantly like oh who the fuck is this and then as the more he plays throughout the story the more exciting it gets and not even just tying it to him but as well as the way that it kind of opens up Deku and specifically what they do a really good job of in this movie primarily and what they've done in other films is build up these characters that again we've never been introduced to before and open up a different realm for Deku's point of view but as well as this new point of view and to show how much of a hero and how much further Deku has grown as a hero in that department. I think also making the villain be Dark Might, a evil version of All Might, only adds to not just more questions for the crew, but also a different angle of Deku and specifically what he has to entail here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, more of my mixed aspects, but I think for the surface level approach of it, it was fun, and fans of like Bizarro and Ultraman from the Superman comics, you're probably going to get a, j a really good like smile out of this, specifically in the way that they use Dark Might. And even if you're watching the dubbed version, which is a version that I watched for this review, I really liked what they did with the voice acting in certain departments on that. Think about Dark Might, like his power set is pretty awesome. Yes, he is All Might for the most part, but specifically how that comes about to be the explanation of Dark Might. That was one of the questions that I had going into this film, and it actually turned out pretty well. Out of the My Hero movies, one thing I've always noticed is that I, it's always usually a slow build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, with a lot of fun little action scenes or fun interactions. And in this movie in particular, the thing that I actually really appreciated about this one the most was how they made the buildup very creative. And a lot of that comes down to the power set of what they're dealing with within this mafia family, and specifically Dark Might. 
And I think that adds for a lot of creative natures that kind of harken back to other Japanese centric sort of elements, uh, specifically in video games, if you're a fan of that, like such as Final Fantasy or Legend of Zelda, like kind of going through these dungeons and these different trials and tribulations and these different areas and locales that they're able to create in here give for, again, a very creative action set piece and give it to a creative feel that again doesn't feel otherworldly or out there but always adds to a sense of reality but something's off and my hero academia your next is able to play off of that without getting into spoilers it was something that really intrigued me every time we come to a my hero academia movie it's the third act that's the thing that sends shivers down your spine that sends goosebumps through your body and you automatically get so so excited and that's the thing that i am always looking forward to and this film delivers on that uh i still don't think anything beats the one when him and bakugo bakugo team up that is still like overall my favorite my hero thing almost ever uh, but specifically in the movies but this third act is awesome the fight scene between dark might and the crew amazing and the way that it shifts and changes and really much like at first i was like oh like this is cool and then like all of a sudden boom it changes and shifts and you're like oh that's badass the animation goes very hard on that and i think a lot of that third act is some of the exciting part that again feels like fan fiction for my hero academia but good fan fiction that i can have fun with but now, with this said, this is not my favorite My Hero Academia movie. I don't think this is a perfect movie. I think the one with Bakugo is still, like, the number one top five out of five for me. So, with this, let's talk about some of my mixed aspects and some of my issues. Now, with Dark Might, I kind of wish they would have dove more into Deku kind of coming into this and actually having to deal with, like, this guy looking like his all-time favorite hero. They do surface-level approaches to it, but it never, like, shakes him up and, like, makes it something better bigger and i wish there would have been a smarter and stronger effect to that even with the rest of the crew it, it's very like oh that guy looks like all might okay like there should have been more there personally as well as i do this is this is definitely diving into fan fiction like what i wanted is definitely not what, gonna be what everyone wants but it starts out with of course the amazing fight with one for all um and, and that last final fight that we really got with all might in the show i think in season two or season three that is actually one of the few times I've ever actually reacted to anything on this channel that is like specifically an episode. But the way you start off this movie and you start off with that scene and kind of like someone watching that, I actually really wish All Might would have came in here and garnered something. And it's it, it's weird to say that, but it, because it's not canon, it would have given such good fan fiction. But that that's just me and that's not a spoiler either it's just i wish they would have somewhat brought all might into the story some way shape and form for my only actual issue with the movie it's sometimes the pacing's very off like again very creative sequences and stuff i enjoy but sometimes it was things that i just didn't really care about and i wish they would have moved the movie a little bit faster or made certain things a little bit more intriguing yeah my hero academia fans i cannot recommend it you are next enough a creative battleground that leads to exciting moments fast-paced action and awesome team-ups the usage of dark was great and comic book fans who love the bizarro stuff superman will dig that there were certain things that i wanted just a little bit more of but the third act goes hard and that's why a lot of us go to these movies so loud said i'm gonna give my hero you are next a b thank you so much again guys for watching this make sure to hit that like subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts and of course until next time stay classy